Hey folks, welcome to Fishing Lake Country. I get asked this question all the time. How do I find, find crappie? And eat, every season's different, but let's start with post-spawn. Right now the crappie are in, I'm gonna say a late post-spawn. And there still are a couple that are shallow here and there. But on the most part, they wanna be closer to deeper water on this lake. Now your lake might be a little different, but here's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you the type of places that I'm finding crappy right now in post spawn, okay? I'm gonna fish those type of places they can show you and we're gonna use a variety of baits. Hey guys, Fishing Lake Country, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Hope this helps you. Let's watch the video, guys. Okay, folks. Hey, in today's video, we're gonna be fishing with different baits, but here's what we're gonna do. It's post spawn. The water temperature is running 70, 68 to 73, 74, depends on where you're at. Our creeks, our main channel is cooler, right on, right on the corner of the main channel right here. We're going to start off fishing a lay down tree. You can see a tree here, a tree coming in here. There is a tree, it's a tree down there. I picked this spot because I know it's trees here. So we're going to do a video on places, three places, I know of right up off the top of my head, that's good to fish for crappie. Now these are crappie right here. I'm going to show you on this step finder. Right there is crappy. I just, just pull it up here and I just spotted those. Just with any movement transducer to look at the tree. I don't see anything anywhere else in the tree. I got the other depth finder, uh, the camera going, so I'm going to show you that. Okay? I'm going to show you that what, am I, what I'm seeing. Okay? That right there looks like crappy. See that dark spot? There ain't many there though. But they like lay down trees and they'll use them after the spawn for a little bit. Okay? Now getting one to hit us might be a different story. You see the water's got some stain to it. We've had a lot of rain. I know a lot of you, the rest of y'all have too. Look at that, guys. He was waiting on me. He called fair catch. He hit it as soon as it hit the water. Hey, like that. Hey, <laughs> he wants to be a he wants to be a YouTube star, doesn't he? Guys, I tell you what, I think I just gonna stop and go home. Because that very seldom ever happens. You catch them in the bass. I've done many a times. <laughs> I'm doing a video like this. I, I, done, I, you know, I guess <laughs> I, I'm overwhelmed every minute, guys. I get some live action sometimes, don't I? But <laughs> I wasn't expecting that this morning. That's my first cast this morning. That's a nice little crappy too, okay? God is good, isn't he? <laughs> All right, look. Now, <laughs> on to the next spot, right? <laughs> Now, we're going to make a couple more casts here. Like I said, I don't see but a few crappy here. But it's morning time, guys. It's uh, right now, it's 10 minutes to 7, 5 minutes to 7. Okay? A couple minutes to 7. I can't see it very clear. I think it's a 658, what it says. Um, I've tried to get an early start this morning. It was cloudy. It was spitting a little rain, so I waited a couple minutes before I took off. Looks like it's going to clear off now. But these are good mornings to be out here. First thing in the morning. They ain't got stirred up. Y'all can hear a boat running too. Believe me or not, I live on Poplar Creek. Coming out of Poplar Creek, I counted over 12 boats. Now, I see, oops, whoa, one hit me right at the boat. One hit me at the boat. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say. Now, I'm using a bright color, guys, because the water's got some stain. It's cloudy. At 25 feet, this depth finder here says, at 25 feet, those are crappy. See them there? So I need to get, oops, got to open your bell. I get y'all demonstrate how to cast, because I don't know how to cast. I tried to cast with my bell shut. That's how I get bit so fast on the first cast. I must have accidentally hit right on top of those, because I really, I really wasn't, oops, I really wasn't casting that uh, a crappy. I was just, there was no, I was just casting into that tree. Okay, got, oops, lost that one, guys. I don't have two on now that I've lost. I see him going back. Sometimes they just don't, they don't hit you solid. When he hit that, it didn't feel like a solid hit. I see a couple small fish moving through that tree on the other, on the other, on the other camera on the death finder. Y'all can see that too. I can't, I'm gonna try to run both, both of them for you for a minute. See these fish moving around there? They're probably, they're probably a lot smaller. All right, see, see one come up there just now. See that fish? You see this fish come up there and smack at my bait? All right. This is where the, somebody asked me in a comment the other day, said this was, <laughs> this was game fish. It is kind of like a game fish because you can see the fish, 
Uh, sometimes you can see your bait if you adjust the depth finder, right? There's my bait. I just seen my bait. There's one. You see that fish come hit my bait right there? All right, guys, I had the camera on and I cut it off of habit. So if you if it's a break in the video just now, it's me. I reached up and cut my camera on my chest. It was already on. I forgot that was already on. Duh. Guys, that's a nice fish. Look at that one. Jeez, he's, he's probably 11, 11 and a half. Easily. All right. Y'all know I like to get them back in the water as soon as I can. I measure sometimes. Now, look, I got slime on my hands with that crappy. See what I'm doing? I bummed it on my bait. All right. I know y'all do that, too. All right. There's more crap in this tree, and I think it is. They're hidden. Some of them are hidden there. Here's the thing about it, guys. They're active. Well, guys, I haven't left this tree yet. <laughs> Y'all know. <laughs> Y'all know I'm going to stay here till I catch them, till they quit biting on me. <laughs> it's about 10, here's more than I think it's here, I think. I think some of them are down in the tree hiding a little bit. And he's about 10 and a half. Wow. Gosh, he, I got six pounds on this rod, guys. This is what I use mostly on lay downs and stuff, so I told you I got six pounds on it. And I told you before, too, I share with you. Make sure I stay away where I don't sit down. <laughs> stay away from where I sit right there a lot. I sit right there on the rod box and be tie. Oh, that's a nice fish. No one he's fighting so hard. Uh, come here. If you're going to use this weedless head like I'm using here, gotcha. Great time of the day. Like I said, I can really, really get them good sometimes. I, I got you, buddy. I'm going to get you off. He's like, Man, this guy's got me. He ain't gonna let go of me. Gotcha. Right there. Gotcha. All right, gotcha. Um, that's what this one is. He said, he's got me. I'm gonna put it right there on the end of his mouth, guys. His mouth is open. Put it right on the end of his mouth. He's 12, guys. He's right at 12. He's like, he's like 11 and 15 sixteenths. So he's an area of 12 inches. All right, guys. The next place is a dock. Now, this dock has braces on it. Oh, that's a bad cast. Don't y'all y'all shut your eyes for a minute. You can see I got just a little, a little place right there to throw because it's got braces. So I threw in that little crack where the brace comes up. I had a spot there about there he is, about two foot long. Oh, he come off. He come off. I got a spot there about two foot long and about six inches tall to put a bait. All right. Guys, I do it like that. I underhand. I watch guys pitch it under. I cannot pitch it underhanded on a dock and get it where I want it. I skip it. I'm gonna get a hit again. There's a couple in there. Ain't many under there. I'll show you on this other camp. Def. I'm, ah. Well, then this is gonna have to hook them first. Gonna have to hook them first. I have to go to my other rod, guys. I bent my hook a little bit that time. Bend it on that fish hollow go. Once you bend the hook, they're not the same. I don't have three bites, three casts and three bites, guys. Uh, I didn't want it to that time. I done pulled them out some now. I got, him. got him that time. Now, here's, here's, why here's why I'm having trouble hooking them. The, the one I lost looked bigger than that. Okay. And I, I'm on the dock, guys. I'm, I'm, there's the tree I started on. See what I'm saying? You just gotta find a cove. I'm at the mouth of the cove, or creek. This is actually a creek. And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pitch it just like this right here, guys. Underhand pitch it. Now, I can underhand pitch like that, but I can't pitch up under the dock underhand. I see people doing it. I can't do that. I can see the crappy on the dock. They're not paying attention to me there. All right, let, let me turn around, and I'm gonna show you the fish on the Death Finder. There you are. You can see them there now. See here? There's a crap. There's some outside the dock. That's what I was talking about. You can see those are crappy. I don't know what that is. I think it's maybe a cedar tree on the backside of the dock they got there. But those couple fit, those spots right there are crappy. All right, guys. This is this is some of the reason I might be having trouble catching some of them. Like I said, they just beat me. Because they're so small. Now, this is one of Chuck's baits. Y'all see my videos? Scriber sent me the bait. This is one of his. I got 
two of his rigged up on different rods. He made some really excellent baits, guys. And I have, I have ordered stuff to make some with, so. I'm gonna start pouring my own too, so y'all gonna see that coming. Actually, some of the stuff's already coming in. And guys, I cut the camera off again like a dummy. That's a nice one. I said, oh boy, and went to cut the camera on, and uh, <laughs> I'm telling you. Now, he followed me out, so I surprised me, but I keep forgetting I run the camera sometimes, so I'm trying to do something a little different today, guys. I'm trying to run the camera more. That's a nice fish, guys. He's a good 11 and a half. Maybe, you know what? I bet he's 11 and 5 eighths. What do y'all think? I don't know where he's going. A decent one. The guys, I cut, got quite a few off this dock now. I got, couldn't get them started. You know, they bumped me, bumped me, bumped me, bumped me. And I, I thought, well, I'm not going to catch anything here. And I caught the little one that y'all seen the first one. Come on. And uh, one, once I caught a few now, I got them fired up. Uh, they're hitting me, hitting me pretty good. I'm just catching one but every three or four casts. So, <laughs> he's in that same little predicament, guys. Let me get up and get my poke. He's in that same little predicament. Yeah, I've learned I can use that handle for something else besides a live scope. You can get a pair of pliers to get a hold of that turn. He's a nice guy. He's probably 11 inches. That, uh, let me throw them down there. That uh, hook, like I say, we're getting that fish. And this part of the hook catches on in front of his lip like that. You can't, you can't push down on it, can you? I finally got a crap this time. I've got a little bit of thing, guys. I've had plenty of bites. I got hung up. <laughs> now that, here's the bad thing about a beaver hut. You gonna get hung up. And I had to wait my little weed to say it. I still got hung up. Because um, if, if, you, if you let it fall too far, it goes down through the branches. You know, all the, it's a lot of trash there. That's in my little weedless head, too. He's not a monster. He's about 10 inches. All right. All right, guys. Got another one off the, off the beaver hut. Seen two or three fall on it, and finally this one grabbed it. All right, guys. I'm, I'm going to go in. Uh, I got to meet somebody today. About some work, so I can't stay out any longer. But uh, I'll do an outro, intro for you on the, at my shop, in my studio. Or uh, I might get back out to see them and see if we can uh, find a couple more. Maybe we can find a couple bigger ones to see them. Bam, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, I got one. Wow, what a crappy. Got one up under this dock. This dock is very hard to, very hard to get up underneath it. I need a net on this one. I ain't caught one big enough to see them for my net. This is the first one. Oh, boy. Now I can see this one. Y'all wait till y'all see this one. Bam! Look at that one, guys. <laughs> Start guessing. Let me get my boat control here. Now, guys, this this dock is full of braces. I'm throwing a albina. I know y'all looks like it's a pink. It's got a... Gosh, he's strong. He shook the bait out. I got my finger on the line. I can't let go of it. Yeah, we're getting predicaments. Guys, I've been going all day. Y'all know I've been early this morning. Guess what I done when I went home and ate lunch? I power washed two sides of my house. The t two sides that have a front porch and a deck, which takes the longest, right? <laughs> well, I gotta work too, guys. Okay? Gotta keep home things done too, you know? I know y'all think I fish a lot. I only fish four or five. This week, I fished every day this week, but three. Since last Friday, I fished every day but three. All right, guys, look here. He is, get your tail over there. All right, guys, he's 13. He's 13 and about seven eighths. I was gonna say he's 13 and a half to 14, so I was gonna you know, aim the ballpark. That's a nice fish, guys. He came on Albina. That's crappy. Right, guys. Decent. He is nice, crappy. 
before y'all say, one of you say, Dennis, you're still fishing a dock. Now, we've talked about tree lay down tree. We talked about dock. And I told you, we got to fish brush. Now, I'm going to show you the brush. I know I'm close to a dock. All right. I got to watch the leaf. Way back. All right, see that brush pile right there, guys? That's a brush pile. Okay. That's why I don't have my other camera up right now, guys. A lot of traffic. Saturday evening. Look at that crappy. That's a nice crappy. He's good 12 and a half, guys. Off a of brush pile. All right, the brush pile is right in front of the dock. He's got it right here. It's right here behind his boat, okay? Behind it in his boat slip. Now, of course, it's great for him. The giveaway that he's got a brush pile, guys. He's got a cleaning board up on the back. <laughs> he's got a cleaning board up there at his uh, storage unit. When you see that, you know they eat crappy. Start looking around their dock for brush piles. But when you got a brush pile at a dock, that's a plus. You got the dock shade, plus you got the brush pile. So post spawn crappy, lay downs, docks, and brush piles. Plus, if you can find a brush pile at a dock, it's even better. All right, guys, I want to give you a better shot of that dock brush pile. Now, you can see it right there. Okay. Like I said, I got to watch the traffic. Uh, right now. I'm in a different angle now. It's more of a third than that. There you go. See the brush? And it's right in front of the dock. Right in the boat slip. 